in the color palette panel, create a new color and label it clothing. Double click the swatch to open up the color mixer. Choose a dark gray. Um, just any dark gray. I used 108, 108, 108. Go to the toolbar and select the paint unpainted bucket. Be sure that the leg layer is selected. Under tool properties, select apply to multiple drawings. Back to the toolbar and select the onion skinning feature. Take the paint bucket tool and click drag a circle around the leg with the onion skin turned on and you're going to see that it painted all of the leg drawings in the leg layer. Pretty cool. Now notice that it missed one uh, drawing of a leg. That means there's a gap somewhere in the boundary or the uh, periphery of the leg drawing and I can see it. It's here at the heel. So I'm going to go get my stroke tool from the toolbar. It's uh, in with your bucket tools and fill that gap in by the heel with an invisible line. You get a prompt telling you that it's an invisible line. Don't worry about that. And then you should be able to fill in your uh, your last drawing. Now if you scrub back and forth a little bit on the timeline you'll start to get an idea of what this sidekick is going to look like. And don't worry about the funky chicken that his left arm is doing. We're going to fix that. Now lock the layer for the eyes and the hand so we don't paint them gray and we're going to paint all the rest of the body and head with the gray color. We're going to use the same method. Select the paint unpainted bucket. Turn on the onion skinning. But this time we're going to check apply to all visible drawings. Now you got your painted ninja with uh, all of his clothing painted gray. And the next thing we're going to do is take care of the flesh tone and the whites of his eyes. But first we're going to make him dance for us a little more. Uh, actually I'm just scrubbing along the timeline to make sure it's going to move correctly. Not goofing around, this is serious animation business here, really. Next we're going to mix up a little flesh tone paint. So open up the color panel and create a new color and double click it to open up the color mixer. Oh, and don't forget to name the color skin or flesh. I'm going to call mine flesh. Now most skin tones in the world uh, fall somewhere between a, a light pinkish and a dark brown and I find in my experience that I can get most flesh tones uh, by starting in a um, in the orange area and raising or lowering the saturation and the value. And when you have the skin tone about the way you like it, close out your color panel and and remember how we painted the clothing. We're going to paint the hand the same way. Uh, select the onion skin and using the paint unpainted bucket tool just circle around the hand and it should paint all of the hands in that layer for you. And then go on up and paint the face while you're at it. And that's going to do it for part four of Draw the Ninja. In part five we're going to give the poor guy his other arm and leg and start teaching him how to move around. See you in part five. Yeah.